Now on YouTube, this is Groomsby Borough. This is my playthrough, and we're at episode 34 or something roundabout nearish, somewhere around there. Um, and I've got some. I've got to start off this with some bad news. Well, two bits of bad news actually. Um, one is I'm going to have to cut down the the length of the episodes. I'm afraid I'm finding it very difficult to stay on uh, on release schedule if you know what I mean it's usually Tuesday and Saturdays but because it's a half hour episode it takes a lot longer than half an hour to get it recorded now I uh, split the gate you know split it up and then uh, refashion it together into half an hour it's taking a lot, lot longer than what it used to um, instead of sitting down for half an hour and recording it for half an hour uh, that including processing and all that rubbish that goes along with it I now sit here for upwards of an hour um, doing it so I'm gonna have to cut down the videos a little bit in length um, and that's the first piece of bad news the second piece of bad news is that Bob isn't here this week he hasn't gone to Switzerland at all to uh, deposit me some money um, he hasn't at all that's that's not I don't know where you've seen him but if you've seen him in Switzerland he's definitely not there for doing that for me um, so it's just me for the hitching game I'm afraid Bob's not there, he's going to sort the team out when he's out and about in Switzerland but the hitch in the Fat Fighters Trophy the uh, second leg that wh whatever it is, the replay that is um, that that is, that's going to be what the game is today and it's without Bob and Fred so I mean I, I feel like I've lost, I've lost a little bit of myself while Bob's not here to be quite honest he used to make me a cup of tea now I've got to do the best of myself because my trusty sidekick is not here, I've had to actually go to the draw myself today. Um, the Hitchin, our, group, our Grimsby Borough, will be playing Uxbridge in the next round of the Fat Fighters Trophy. You know, I have to say that Bob is an absolute legend. Not only is he away for a bit, uh, he's ill off work, he's not in Switzerland, I swear. Um, but, you know, while he's, while he's ill, doing his business, he's there and he's still working... What an absolute legend. Apparently, he thinks, though, that the one player in my attack that we can consider a star individual is Helio Andre. I think Bob, you know, his illness is just taking over him there because I think it's bullshit that's just come out of his mouth. So here we are. It's the replay of the Fat Fighters trophy. <laughs> and this time, we've got Hitchin yet again. Let's just have a quick gander at these messages. No decent going on there. Um, this time we've got a hitching. Hitching for an itching again. And uh, come on lads. I mean we can do this. We know we can. We know we can do it. Apparently the fans are pessimistic. Everybody's pessimistic. Bob, I'm getting him to do it while he's ill. Um, which is fantastic. He's an absolute legend, is Bob. He's an absolute leg end. Now, he, he reckons that Helio Andre is on for some kind of farm. I don't think so, but we're just going to leave it as is. David McGinn is in the team this time. I don't think that anything is going to go right today for us with David McGinn at right back. But you never know. He may pull, he may pull an awesome game out of his ass crack. And uh, we, might, we might be looking at a good old Fat Fighters trophy next round here. I think it's the first round as well. It's not just a, you know... It's not just another qualifier. I think we're actually in it if we win this. So, here we are. Oh, I, I've told this guy here, there's no pressure. I mean, he, he knows we're talking bullshit. There's course there's loads of pressure in this game. It's Fat Fighters Trophy. We've got, to show them, uh, we've got to show them skinny people that we can also be skinny people. So, here we are. Hitching have gone on the attack straight away. Booker down this right side. He whips it in. Noble spilt it. Brown whacks it straight at Noble again. I don't know what's Noble doing. Maybe he's, he's uh, lathered his, his gloves in butter before he came out. It's quite disturbing. I think he was trying to eat a sarnie whilst he had his gloves on. Which uh, is never a good idea, as everybody knows. Is he going to whip it over there? Yes, he is. Welsh. What's he going to do with it? He's down that right hand side. He's not going to do out. He's just going to run into Hall Tom. And uh, whole Tom just kicks it out for a throw in. And here we are again, hitching for an itching on the attack. Woodyard in the box. And uh, there's Noble with his with his uh, butter fingers. The actual fingers of butter that's uh, spilt the ball again. That's no good. Boaki whips it in though. Oh, and ups and skied it. I don't believe that. Or was it Lamp? It was one of the two. It was one of them two cheeses. 
So here we are. Oh God's sake! Now Black is injured. Every all shit's gonna break loose now. Um, when you, hang on a minute. Let me think about this. I think Charlie Allen's gonna come in. I think he's all right. It, you know, it is good. I reckon he's a good advanced playmaker. So ignore the red blob there. I think Charlie Allen will still do a good job there. You never know though. Lamp. Now it's Charlie Allen. Liskov. What's he gonna do? He's gonna whip it in. New Welsh. Oh, that's straight at the keeper. There's uh, there was a chance there for uh, for Grimsby Borough to go one 0 ahead, but no. Not just now. Liskov, fantastic player. Robinson, also a fantastic player. Club ledge, club ledge is Robinson, but not that time. He likes it in that person, that that old woman who comes to watch every one of our games. She's she's got many broken bones now. Through um, Mr. Place shots. Oh, and Welsh is through. Oh, that is a big fuck up in the Hitchin for an Hitchin's defence. And the Fat Fighters Trophy looks to have a big upset on their hands at the minute. With Grimsby Borough 1-0 up. Welsh capitalising on the biggest defensive mistake I've seen in 50,000 years. Welsh there just buries it. Number five wasn't even looking at the at the uh, pass that was coming in. He was too busy looking at the blonde woman with the tits out. Because, you know, I strategically placed her there for these home matches. Hoping that this would happen. And uh, number five there fell for the bait. Liskov's going to whip it in now to Robinson. But uh, Robbo, Roubois, didn't get his head on it this time. Watson. Charlie Allen. Goes for the shot and it's uh, gone over the bar. And that poor old woman's getting her right face full of balls today. And I don't mean the good kind either. Right. So here we are. It's half time. We're doing all right. We got a goal. That's the that's the most basic basics of things in football is to score goals. Of course, if you don't score goals, you're never going to win. So we've got a goal. That's that's good. That um, itching for an itching. They've had a couple of a couple of chances, so I don't think I'm going to drop back just yet. Um, I may do very very soon. So here's the sixtieth minute. That's when I usually uh, introduce some new peeps. A new peeps onto the field. Elio Andre, I ain't even seen him today. So let's get Sean Thompson on. For fun is. I'm going to leave the other one just in case there's an injury or something like that. So there we are. Um, I need to start before I can start messing around with my instructions and stuff. So the instructions, as usual, I'm going to uh, tell them to work the ball into the box. And then I'm going to drop it down to a standard style of play. Now we've got the goal. I don't really want them to go in to look for something that uh, we've already got. To be quite honest, we get them instructions out of my face because I need to see what's going on. And here's Thompson now, been brought on for Helio Andre. He's going it himself. Newell, oh, that's a great save from Elliot. Down to his right hand side, and it's gone out for a corner. And Roubois is going to come up for this one. I can see him. He's, he's getting in position. Liskov's going to whip this one in. Oh, where's that to? Retchy. Roubois trying to get back, and he's, he's managed to sort that out. I don't know, it's our throwing apparently, I think. Is it? I don't know anymore. Anyway, Liskov's going to whip this one in. Oh, not towards Roubois this time. McGinn, I haven't seen him, which is uh, a good sign. Upson. Welsh, and it's another goal for Welsh. This time, oh, it's got to be it. It's, it's got to be it now. Grimsby were a 2, Hitchin nil. And uh, there was no blonde woman, there was no tits involved in that goal. Welsh just absolutely buried that. Upson did well there. Great ball in, just went through everybody. And there seems to be three defenders there that were behind Welsh as Welsh just went forward and just tapped it. Well, whacked it in, should I say. I didn't tap it. Whack the fucker. So, come on now, fellas. Let's keep this. McGinn is, uh, come on, you're getting dragged out of position, mate. Back towards Elliot, the goalkeeper. It's the 85th minute now. And uh, we've got to keep this, surely. Now Lamp to Liskov on this left-hand side. I had to think what left-hand side was there for a second. Now here's Upson on the left-hand side again. Back to Liskov. Good ball to Newell. Good ball through for Charlie Allen. Is it the post? Ah, oh, club ledge. Club ledge. What, what more can I say about him? He's an absolute club ledge, is uh, Charlie Allen. He's not had a few good games, to be honest, but uh, he's still an absolute ledge. Now here's Upson. He's done alright on this left-hand side. He's done very well. Welsh, and that's his hat-trick. 
There's Welsh's hat trick, and the crowd go wild. <sighs> Even the old woman who's got two broken arms and a broken nose now, she's going mad on the sidelines. We don't have seats yet, so it's a bit, uh, it's a bit um, bad, really. But still, poor old woman. She, she, she holds herself up on a Zimmer frame, and she keeps getting smacked in the face every time. Every every hour, every game that she comes past, every every game that she comes and watches, poor old woman on on the sideline. I don't know what her name is. I think it's Betty. Betty. Oh, it's Bob's. It's Bob's mother. I think Betty and Betty and Bob. Yeah, that seems good to me. Right, what's this here? Why have I got one point? What run? Run. Oh, that must be the length that they've like been running for. Jesus Christ, Peter Noble, you lazy bastard. So that's not too bad. Oh, Sean Thompson, he's not even fucking turned up, look. Mind you, he was a sub, so I'll let him off. Well, we did alright there, lads. I think we did very, very well indeed. Bob will come back from his illness. He will be proud of the lads. Um, um, we'll see We'll see what we can do now. Uh, let's see. What can, what can we do? What can we do? Look at that. 17 shots and only 6 of them were on target. It's a bit disappointing, that, to be quite honest. But what do you expect when you have Helio Andre up front? I really need to get myself decent strikers, um, especially as we've, we've, we're going up this league. And another cup, and another win. That's all we seem to be playing is cup games nowadays. We can't seem to get any kind of league games in the crack. Let's have a look at his fixtures. So we'll go up here and look at the amount of time it's been since we've lost. And, I, you know, touch wood, it's, it's going to be a lot longer. What's going on here? Oh, I am not continued yet. That's why it's not turned up. It's not shown out. Mintus is out with a, a torn hamstring. We'll also see what has happened to Boak here. Oh, shit. I need Bob. I mean, no, we don't. That, that four grand is going straight in the kitty. It's not going to be filtered off uh, by anybody, Bob, at all. Um, I must post it now. Where is it? £4,000. Switzerland. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, right, okay. So, FA Trophy. FA Trophy? The Fat Fighters Trophy draws. Drimsby, Drimsby. Fuck me, I can't speak. I can't speak. It's because Bob's not here. It's because Bob's not here. He is the life and soul of what goes on behind the scenes at Grimsby Borough. Anyway, let's. Uh, we've got Uxbridge next, by the way. You already know. Bob runs out of superlatives. Bob's run out of summit. I don't know what it is, but superlatives, I don't think, is one of them. So what's happened to Boakia? Come on now. Where is where is Mr. Boakia? Can I see Mr. Boakia, please? Well, Mintus is still out, and he's out anyway. So Boakia must have just some, done something and nothing, really, so it's not too bad, is it? Let's have a look at his fixtures and see what's going on. So look at that. There's the 3-0 win. Oh, we've got another cup next. The Dudeson Sport Cup. First round. We're actually into the uh, first round of the Dudeson Sports Cup. And we're against Eversley. Um, I've got a sneaking suspicion that they're going to be the favourites for this. Which is always good for me. It's always good. And then we haven't... Oh, no, we've got another cup round after that. The FA Cup fourth round. And it's not... Remember, it's not until the eighth round that... Um, that uh, the uh, big guys actually go into there. So Radcliffe Borough, we we must dispatch of these. We have to dispatch of these. That would be fantastic. Uh, Osset Town, that's the uh, the next league match. Jesus Christ! We just seem to have lots of lots of trophies. This is ridiculous. We need normal. I need to know what we're going to be doing in the bloody league for crying out loud. It's all right winning the FA Cup, but Jesus, we need to know what we're doing in the league. Let's um. We're sixth in the league, so it says. Nothing's really changed, I don't think. But we do have a game in hand above Whitby now, um, which is great. Which which is definitely fantastic news for this for the squad for the club, because if we win that, we will be in the playoffs for the first time in a while. Um, but I think, just one second. Yes, we've very nearly hit the 15-minute mark, which means, guys, that this episode draws to a close. And we've only got the one game done and to be honest I think that that's what it's going to be more or less roundabout. 
when I'm doing this kind of cutting and editing and all that kind of business. But I do enjoy doing these. Don't think that I don't enjoy doing these. I've only had to cut down on the time because I'm not actually sticking to the days of, of which Grimsby Borough should be released. Um, which is a shame. I really want to stick to the Tuesday and the Saturdays. And at the minute, there's things that are taking precedence over what I can do uh, time-wise with Grimsby Borough. But next episode, Bob will be back, I'm sure, from his from his illness. And we will see what happens in the next round of the Dudeson Sports Cup. And uh, maybe... Post-it note, hang on. Dudeson Sports Cup. Possible Switzerland? Yeah. Right. Maybe we can win a little bit more money for the club um, and see what happens. So until next time, guys, I've been the tough man and uh, Bob's not been here. But, you know, as always, keep your asses safe because you never know who's fucking out there.